hey, hey, good morning, and welcome into the Trucker Rudy Show. Yeah, we're up and early here today. Yeah, as you can see, it's still dark out here, and we're getting ready to leave. We had our 10 hour break now. As you saw yesterday, we went to bed there when it was still, uh, the sun was still up, you know. But uh, now it's time to get out of here. So let's get out of here and have ourselves a fantastic day. And uh, thank you guys for joining me on today's vlog. And we hope and you have an awesome day. So let's get rolling. Well, guys, the sun looks like it's going to peek through here any minute now. Just going to turn on the light here so hopefully I'm a little bit better visible. Yeah. There we go. Anyways, the sun is starting to peek through. And we are just about to enter Saskatchewan. Yeah, as you saw, we left early this morning. Been driving for 218 kilometers right now. Yeah, so about eight, two, two and a quarter uh, hours worth of driving. Then we got about 412 kilometers to go to Regina. Yeah. So we have a big day ahead of us today. Then we got to get up early tomorrow morning again and drive a little bit tomorrow. Yeah, here we are. Entering Saskatchewan. Entering Saskatchewan. Changing That's time right. zone. Yeah, I don't know if we're actually changing time zone, but RJ can say whatever he wants, right? <laughs> yeah, this is the week of We Logger Fair. That's right. We are excited. Oh, yeah. I know Trucker Jukebox is already picking up his load and starting to head out towards Seattle right now but uh, I'm on my way back home I'll be delivering in Winnipeg tomorrow morning and then uh, go home and take care of some business and then uh, Wednesday we'll be packing up and leaving Wednesday afternoon we'll be driving there with our personal vehicle yep that's exciting. I can't wait to go over there. That'll be a nice little vacation for us. See, now you can see the sun pop through the clouds up there. That's right. Anyways, we'll be right back. Well, guys, we are cruising along here and that white stuff that you see here everywhere. Well, maybe not right now, but we just went by a white stuff there. It is actually salt. This is a salt lake up here. Yeah, you'll see it here in a minute right away again. You'll see a lot of white stuff here to the right, also to the left. There's some, I don't know how good the camera is going to pick it up there, but here to the right it should pick it up pretty good. It is a salt, pure salt. Yeah. So we are still in Saskatchewan, Chaplin, Saskatchewan right here. Yeah, see there, right to the right, it's all salt. That's right. But that's the way it goes. Yeah, something in my eye, itching my eye right now. Anyways, we got about 150 kilometers to go, and we'll be in Regina. I think I'll be making a pit stop here pretty soon, though. I've been driving for about five hours now, so. It's time to make a pit stop here very soon. I think uh, there's a little truck stop here just down the road from here. And that's where I will be making a pit stop. We've got 81 kilometers to Moose Jaw, so I'm pretty sure this stop is before Moose Jaw, so we'll see, we'll see. If it isn't before Moose Jaw, then we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. But Anyway, it's another gorgeous day out here today. Nice and sunshine. Hardly any wind that I can notice. 
just cruising along and having fun. Yep, we're ready, guys. We just had ourselves a little bit of a uh, kid stop up here and uh, Karen Ford, Saskatchewan. Yeah. Had ourselves a little bit of a boy to eat. Let me a Subway sandwich to eat. Now we're putting the hammer down and going towards Winnipeg. We got uh, 94 kilometers to uh, Regina. Then we'll be in Regina. Yeah. Starting to get a little bit more cloudy, so the sun is disappearing. But they were saying on the weather network there that they're expecting to uh, get some rain up here. It was only 40% chance, but hey, that's always a chance we could get some rain. I wouldn't mind wash some of these bugs off of my window. Mind you, today hasn't been terrible with the butterflies up here, or whatever you want to call it. Yesterday or the day before, it was terrible. There were tons of them everywhere. There is a few here and there, but that's about it, you know. At least that's today. <laughs> maybe when it gets hotter, maybe there'll be more again. Anyways, I uh, <clears throat> just saw Big Jerry's uh, video there. I'm apologizing for not being able to go to Seattle. So he's got some kind of health issues there. Yeah, well, I know it was an opportunity to meet you there, Big Jerry, but... Yeah, hopefully we'll get the chance to meet you one of these days. And I hope you will uh, be able to treat your uh, situation that you got. You'll be able to take care of it. Never wish sick on anybody, you know. But, uh, we can all have health issues. But we'll, uh, we will definitely be going to Seattle. At least the way it looks right now, it's not an issue. Then again, you never know. Things can always change, right? Then come the park four-wheelers up here on the shoulder, so always want to move out of the way, you know? Oh, yeah. I felt sorry for one of the guys there that was at the truck stop there. There was a guy there, uh, he got kicked out of the bus. I don't know exactly all the story behind it. I always say there's two sides to the story, but from what he was saying, the boss stopped there in uh, Karen Port, and uh, and the driver, I guess, just wanted to use the washroom or whatever. And I guess she didn't want to uh, let any passengers off because she just wanted to make a quick pit stop. I guess she needed to use the restroom. And and I guess this guy wanted to have a smoke and she told him not to get outside the vehicle and outside the van. I don't understand why they wouldn't let him out and have a quick smoke, but apparently the driver didn't want that and uh, he wanted it anyways. And so I guess when she went to the washroom, he got out of the bus and had a smoke and I guess she had seen him and so he got kicked off the bus apparently. So he's stranded up here in Cairnport, Saskatchewan. He said his ticket was good to Toronto. He was on his way to Toronto. He said he paid for the ticket and everything. He said he paid, paid 280 bucks for the ticket. Now he's got kicked off. <laughs> I don't know how that works. I, I don't know if they got to reimburse him or if they got to get him a new boss or how that works, but felt kind of sorry for the guy, you know, he was uh, saying he just lost his dad there in, the, in the, and he's at Revelstock, uh, BC, so he went over there to go to the funeral and you know, he was on his way back and got kicked off the bus, and so that's all the, uh, that was all the money he had left was for that ticket, he had to go back to Toronto and he said he had a roofing job up there. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like I said, there's always two sides to the story, but uh, I mean, he was even crying. 
crying there for a little bit, you know. I mean, it's unusual for a man to be crying, you know. You could see he was having a hard time with it and everything, you know. So, I don't know, I really felt bad for the guy, but what am I going to do about it, you know? I mean, I guess, I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to cruise along here and see how far we can make it today. I guess I got about five and a half hours left to go, so should be able to make it into Brandon, I think, I don't know for sure, but we're any close to Brandon at least, you know. So anyways, we'll continue on with our journey and see what else the day has in, the, in stock for us, you know. See if we see anything interesting and we will show it. With that being said, we shall be right back. Will you like to watch the sunrise? Will you have blue or brown eyes? What are the dreams you long to share? Like Stevie Wonder, are you afraid of thunder? I close my eyes and say a prayer, you're out there somewhere I've been waiting all my life for you I've been wishing on every shining star Be done 
done for today. Yeah. I don't have, I would have half an hour more that I could drive, but uh, there ain't half an hour that I can drive to where there isn't anything out there, you know? So I could do 45 minutes. There's a, a little truck stop there on the left, but I can't do that. I can't go over time. So we gotta stop over here, but that's okay. We got a Tim Hortons in here. We got a few restaurants in this area, so we shall be good to go. Yeah, that's right. We should be good to go. Oh, look at that. We got the single turn and everything right away. Don't even have to wait here at the light. <laughs> that's always a bonus. Yes, it is. All right, making sure nobody is coming. It's always a little bit of a on the intersection here you know but anyways we're pulling into this asshole truck stop up here and I bet you we shouldn't have no problem finding parking today since it's four not even four o'clock in the afternoon you know yeah, let's see what we got uh, yeah, a few spots open oh yeah we'll pull her into one of these spots behind these guys here See, maybe all of a sudden they'll pull up and be able to pull her up too. Holy smokes, this guy has got all kinds of chemicals. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, six placards. Holy shit, man. <laughs> six placards, eh? Why do you need six placards for? Well, I guess you do. Oh, look at that. That guy's pulling up now. Yeah, there we go. I guess we'll. I don't know what he's trying to do. I guess he's just trying to... What happened now? I don't know, my camera, I think, just died on me or something there. Yeah, it just died on me. I don't know if the battery is dead or what. Let's check this thing out. I don't know, yeah, the battery is almost dead. That's why it died on me. Anyway, so you got only got to see up to here, I suppose. I don't know what this guy, I think this guy is trying to move his axle or something, but anyways, we'll just pull up to this guy here. Pull the brakes, there we go. Yeah, I think he's moving his trailer axle. But we are done for today. Just going to fill out the logbook and we will be on our 10 hour break. Well, actually we'll probably have a little more than 10 hours off, but... So let's go ahead and do that and then we'll be right back y'all. Well guys, we have made it over to Brandon, Manitoba. That's as far as we went. Couldn't go no further with the hours wise. So we are done. We're starting to close the curtain. I know the sun is way up there yet, but uh, hey, I gotta go to bed so we can get out of here tomorrow about 2.30 uh, ish. Yeah, I think 2.30 ish we'll try and get out of here. So that way we can make our appointment there for 5 o'clock in the morning. That's the goal. Yeah, I'm just looking at this bee right here. There's a bee right there. Yeah, it's a land right there on my window there or my windshield there. But Anyways, that's about all I got for today. Probably has been a little bit of a shorter video today than uh, I would like it to be. But hey, that's the way it goes. Sometimes they're longer, sometimes they're shorter. But we got to get out of here and go to bed and uh, hope to see you guys again tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching and stick around for the next one.